So guys, I'm back here in the city where I used to study for around five years. You see here the beautiful cathedral of Obo of Turku, the old Finnish capital here in Finland. And today I'm gonna show you around. Check this building out. gonna head to the castle because that is one of the reasons why I wanted to come here to Turku. Oh the castle is so beautiful. So let's continue. And here is the beautiful Aura River. And here is a really beautiful part of town. I cannot almost help myself to show you around in this beautiful city. This is the library and here we have some really nice looking restaurants. Oh, I remember these days when I was living here. Oh, why did I get stuck in that place? <laughs> yeah, that also teached me something, hopefully. Let's see in the future. Find some cafe, charge the phone before we continue to the castle. Otherwise, you will not get any material from me. Some more nice looking building here. Wow, that's a really cool bridge by the way. It's only for pedestrians and for bikes. So here we are. God, there's so much people here. Let's go. So this is quite typical for Turku. You see those boats there? You can have some food. Maybe have a drink or something like that. Yeah, it's really popular in summer. Oh my gosh, look at this building. I mean, this place just amazes me again and again. Like, never ends. I wonder how I will get to the castle in time. Oh, I almost thought it was me there. Huh? Ooh, luckily. Hi. There is some real nice looking boats there. Wow. Hey. That's a weird looking cat there. And some dogs. Well, that's a boat. Beautiful engineering. I think I can see my boat hotel there. Here is the old castle. Wow, it's an impressive looking building. Wow, what kind of gates they have here. Wow, look at these walls. Wow guys, we made it. Let's go in and see what has happened here in the past. Imagine, here they have been sitting. People back in the day. Just imagine what took place here. I guess 
some of the things that happen here is not those kind of things you tell your children. Oh, no, that's not where you enter. But there it is. It says enter. Let's go inside. Wow. This is a real castle. Look at this. These doors are so small. They were pretty small back in the days, I guess. century and at first it, it functioned as a military fortress but later they added some more functions so people could live here and uh, in the 16th century uh, King Gustav Vasa he gave this castle to his son who he appointed to the Duke of Finland to look after the state the castle and the affairs for the Swedish crown. Cool looking gate. Okay, so this was apparently the church. So this section that we're in right now used to be a chapel, kind of a church. Uh, later it was used as kind of a storage place where they used to keep the food, the grains and weapons. So yeah, I guess things were in transformation also here. what is supposed to be the place where they kept the prisoners. Gosh, it looks so dodgy. It's pretty scary stuff, isn't it? Here you can see some more information. How the kind of punishments look like. So... So I guess it was here. The prisoners were kept, we cannot go down, but I guess you can probably imagine that the punishments were... There was a lot of public shaming, executions, it's not uncommon this time, even for the smallest kinds of crimes. So that is basically a copy of how the castle looks like. Yeah. Imagine that they kept a view on you here. So, this part is called the Nuns Chapel. Name is pretty describing what happened here. And here you would have a great view of the harbor or the sea. So apparently this room here used to belong to the Duke Gustav Vasa's son. Say the prince. So this was where he lived. 
some of the time in the 16th century. So they built a pretty interesting and a delicate kind of labyrinth there, um, which made it pretty hard to access that kind of um, faculty here in the castle, and it was believed that it would protect against evil spirits. So here you can explore the tale of the royalty that lived here. And this Swedish king here was also the king of Poland and is still featured on the Polish Sloty, on the bills there. that they used. Wow. This was so nice. Just imagine the handcraft. Wow. They were really skilled. Okay. Okay guys, we're back outside. Wow. Look at this. Okay, let's see what more we can find here. Oh wow. As you can see the top there. 
guess I need to hurry because I'm almost out of battery. So I want to show you how the castle is from the outside. Wow. Just look at these walls. where we are at is where history has been shaped and forged usually with brutal power cunning that's how the Swedes try to conquer this land there's been all kind of power struggles played out here not even the Duke was safe and not either Katarina Jagelonia as history revealed, they were caught in between a power struggle where one of the relatives of the Duke of Johan wanted to take power for himself. So the castle was besieged and they were put in prison. It was not the kind of fate that they were hoping for. There's many stories and tales that could be told about this place. One story that I think is particularly important is the Club Wars that took place in 1596. The Swedish Kingdom and orchestrated from this castle here, they made life for the ordinary citizens almost unbearable. The Kingdom was waging a war with Russia and the war started to take a bad turn and that meant that they had to increase the taxes that they needed to get from the peasants. And soon the peasants didn't even have food for themselves and they had to rebel. So the peasants gathered in Ostrobotnia under the wealthy peasant Jaakko Ilkola from Ilmajoki. And it was there they started to clash with the government. So the normal people which were living under severe hardship here in Finland started to take two arms to revolt against the kingdom. So heavy clashes happened in Ostrobotnia and the peasants they were marching down to the castle here. But on their way down they were defeated by the king's guard. And as usually with power struggles, the Swedish sons that wanted to inherit the crown also had a dispute with each other and made the conflict even more complicated. And they both betrayed the poor peasants, which are now resting in peace. We could almost say it's the usual story that you find in history and a usual reason why wars are started. So that was that for today from the castle. Hope you find this interesting. This city has so much to offer. It's oh my god, it's so incredible. I cannot believe that. <laughs> been so long away from this place so the night is setting in I'm gonna get something to eat and see you tomorrow probably we'll do some more filming I don't know how it will be tonight but if not Thank you.
I mean, you can just see for yourself how lively this series. Just look at this.